Ayan. Hi there everyone. Ayan, good evening. Welcome back sa ating programa ngayong Ay, grabe yung aking ano, <laughs> ang aking ugat sa aking noo. Because I'm really excited for this event. Ayan, I'm really excited tonight dahil nga it was, su- su- uh, I mean, the last week that we have had was a successful one. And nakakatuwa nga dahil maraming nagbe-message and maraming mga positive feedbacks. And that's why... I can't wait. I'm sure ikaw din da na hindi makapag-iantay yes, <laughs> for this wonderful night to be with another guest. Ayan. By the way, bago natin siya ipakilala ay magkakamustahan muna tayo. Uli sa mga nanonood sa amin via Facebook Live. Ayan. If you have questions and clarifications and shout out, wag kayong mahihiyang mag-comment. Ayan. Makisali din sa ating kwentuhan at ating kakulitan sa gabing ito dahil Grabe, backstage. <laughs> backstage, ang kulit niyo na at ang dami niyo nang uh, sinishare. Marami na kayong usapan. And, yes. Yeah. Daw, ano ma? Daw, daw ilunggo. <laughs> Ayan, maka-excite lang. Maka-excite good kay we had a different uh, views good when it comes to grad school. At the same time, um, iba ang aton niya gina... Uh, experience kag iba ang atin nga learning. So, kamusta yung mga adlaw da? Magilunggo sa tabi? Yes. <laughs> Kaya ibud lang. <laughs> yes, pwede. <laughs> okay, so, first of all, uh, good evening sa tala na mga viewers. To everyone, good evening and welcome to another session of our podcast. And, yes, today is like a busy day, but yeah. It is almost weekend na naman, so... Oh, yes. As in, like, one day. <laughs> no, ang bilis ng mga araw kasi parang kahapon lang natin nakasama si Sir John. Ayan. At, yes, and we had a great time talaga when we had a talk with him last time. And, and I'm and sure, I yeah. <laughs> Ayan. Kung gaano kami ka-excited na makinig na kanyang kwento, I, I know, ganun din kayo ka-excited. And shout out sa ano, shout out sa mga viewers natin. Meron tayong 18,000 viewers. <laughs> Ayan. So yung mga friend mo ata to da. Ayan. At saka mga ka-lovemates mo. <laughs> Ayan. Yes, I, I, so, hello kay Sir Karen, hello kay Sananta, and kay Ate Joyce, hello Ate, and I'm sure mer- meron silang madaming questions later, <laughs> para yeah. sa guest natin. <laughs> you can just comment later guys, and we will entertain your questions. Yes, because we are live. <laughs> I'm really excited because I personally know our guest is evening and I had a lot of fun when I was with him before so I know our viewers, viewers will also have we will, we will all have fun tonight Yes, and hindi naman para mag-speaker natin and Yeah, hindi naman natin inaano. He is really naturally like that. So, I know all of us will have a wonderful night tonight. Yeah, at yun nga naging curiosity para sa lahat talaga kung bakit um, yung yung uh, timeline at saka yung ating Facebook post is from chemical engineer turned neuroscientist yeah. and actually napaka-limited lang ng knowledge natin when it comes to shifting of career and actually this is a 360 degrees turn around sa career niya akala ko nga yeah. da Actually, and honestly, akala ko ako lang yung, but ganon, I took nutrition for my undergrad, yet I am taking pharmacy. Bakit parang, although nasa field pa rin siya ng medical and saka sciences, pero it was totally different for me. At yun nga, yung, yung speaker at saka yung guest natin gabi ngayon ay mas, ah grabe, mas It's mataas. Totally <laughs> Legit, from different college. Yeah. ba diba? Magkaiba, so we'll separate talaga siyang, I mean, separate world siya. And different environment, different uh, study type, different culture, yet he managed to push through with his PhD. Ayan, kaya alam ko excited na ang mga kasama natin. Kaya ipakilala mo muna ang ating, ano, pakilala mo muna ang ating guest ngayon. Okay, 
Okay, sir. Our guest this evening. <laughs> I'm so excited to introduce our guest tonight. I forgot his name. Joke. Our guest tonight is taking up his PhD in neuroscience in Sydney. Sydney, Australia. Wow. So he is no other than Arvi Aviero from Illigan City. Yeah, Ayan. Ayan, hi Ki RV. Ayan, you're on screen na. <laughs> See, happy kay siya. Right? We are yes. Ato mga viewers ka kita baka sila. Ayan, can't wait to yes. the fun. Ayan. <laughs> yes, ala. Ano? <laughs> Wala pa ta nag-start Shout pero from Chile. Ya yeah, wala pa daw nag-start pero grabe lingaw nakaayo. <laughs> nag nag-ingon si si Kuya Arvino nga, gigiser sir man gud nako siya, ingon nako siya nga kanang light light or good nga nga discussion kay I've watched their their um podcast or murag interview bitaw last July 31 or 27. Oh, grabe kayo ka chill. Yeah, last last month. Grabe ra kayo ka chill. Ingon siya nga Ingon si Kuya Arvi nga basin formal ni kayo. Ingon ko nga dili kayo as in murag basin daw magkatawanan lang daw or kanang murag more joke time daw. Actually it's good nga joke time kay para mag magretain bitaw ang imong testimony sa, sa ila og maritain gyud ang imong may share So may na nga mag-speak ta og vernacular. We could also speak English or Tagalog for those watching with us at the same time para mas chill chill or kanang lingaw po dang atong discussion we can speak through our dialect man magcomment ra na sila kung dili sila kasabot <laughs> lagi <laughs> anyways ayan kuy RV thank you very much kay gigi invite you i invite you accept nimo among invitation og what a small world good no like you are from sydney now pero small world ka ayo kay swear Same raman di ay mo na laboratory ni Darlin o sa ako ang sister o sa mga yeah. iban pa nato ng mga viewers. Now, sige, tagana na ako kag time. Kaya dagan na kayo mi na introduce. <laughs> dagan na kayo mi air time ni Darlin. <laughs> o siyempre, ikaw din ang highlight. So, tagaan ka na ako. O... Okay na. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. Kaya naan yung... Kaya na po na puli na sigamang ghost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... so lagi <laughs> lagi na okay sa so, so sa atong podcast natay three a must question so kaning okay. a must question whether you like it or not you need to answer this of course okay. a must good ni siya three lang ni siya three i think candidate number two can answer the next question yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> murag, let's say murag preliminary questions ni siya, okay? <laughs> okay. Sige. Now, first question. Wait lang. Maghatag daw kag introduction sa imo hanga self sa ang ang from what hometown sa imong hometown, what country ano? What your your origin, your bachelor, yan, your bachelor, your masters and even your PhD. And fun facts, fun facts. Dili jud malimtan. Sorry fun facts. Anyway. Anyway, okay. Anyway, so hello guys. Hello everyone. So my name is RV Aguero So I was born and raised from the humble town of Iligan City, the city of majestic waterfalls. But wala mi kurgente and wala mi tubig. <laughs> uh, so I did my bachelor's degree in chemical engineering in MSU IIT and then I moved to Seoul, South Korea to do my master's and then from there I went to here in Sydney, Australia to do my PhD in neuroscience. So technically my master's and my Uh, PhD kay somewhat alike lang sila though I was dealing with drugs before like it was all about neuropharmacology pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics of drugs but in relation to our brain and here in in Australia it's kind of different because I'm looking at like diseases na jod <laughs> like cognitive deficits of like compulsive disorders and dementia 
Oh, what's the question? Another question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, ito, introduction naman yung mo. Kaya at least... Ka, uh, 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 introduction na ito siya. <laughs> eh, pero nag-nosebleed na ako sa katong mga pharmacokinetics o pharmacodynamics. <laughs> Ikaw, okay, dapat could you say? Sa introduction niya. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, okay, I've been to 30 to 40 plus countries. Yeah. Ooh. Hinaw daw kayo ang audio, okay. wait lang. Pag masyagit doon daw ka RV, Kuya RV, kay hinaw daw ko ng audio. <laughs> As in? Kaya <laughs> mo si Sir Karem nga pag hinaw daw ang audio. As in, hinaw daw ka ayun. Ano? Wait, mga big deal giri ah. Uling makbuk lagi hatag sa kuwa. Ah, <laughs> give full. Anyway, pero madunggan ba ko? Tay sa ha, kay give mute pud nako akong phone, be. Sige daw, be. Sige daw, be. Try daw, be. Try. Madunggan ba ko? Hello. Hi. Ah, dunggan man. Dunggan ra gud, oy. Feel bit on ako, no? Ang problema bit on no internet gud ni Sir Kerem. Hindi kay makasaga pag signal sa mga git mo. Wala. Lagi <laughs> lagi. Nan nan. Okay. Sige kay na 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 ta gumana og introduction ni ni Sir RV. Now Sige si Kuya, ah, sige si Kuya RV. Igang <laughs> kayo. Wala na ko nag-abri og electric fan. Oh, Well, actually, different pa ko na itong culture, di ba? Sa Asia, kay usually, like, ito yung gafalo tag-hierarchy, like, even oh, oh, sa Korea, oh, oh. Korea, okay? Yeah. The professor gita, ta, ito mga ingana. Like, pag-abot ako din sa another world, which is, i-discuss ako later, different ako siya ng culture, which is first name basis. Munang, wala mo ko na-add niya, is third job ko. Even karoon na pa ako sa Pilipinas, kay, I've worked also in the Philippines before. And, like, cringy ka siya paminawon nga, like, is our RV ito, kung mura pagkuwi na lang or RV na lang po. <laughs> Actually, informal pag yun na ang sir or ma'am ha, informal pa na kay Yay! ang ang formal dire kay Mr. and Miss. Di ba like si Mizzy. Oh! Yan si Mr. RV, Mr. Abiero, ayun na siyang formal dire. As only nag nagsulod ko katong dito sa sa Murag Elite School dire sa dire sa Manila. As in mag Mr. Gud sila og Miss. Wala jud sila sir or ma'am. So ah okay. So, nga, ah, anyways, dili na ang atong niya talk. <laughs> dili na ang atong niya talk. Oh. Lagi, lagi. Sige lang. Now, ang second, ikaw ang second question da, ang, ang a must question. Ang second nga a must question or sige. So, your second question. Oh my God. <laughs> Summary of your processing. How did you like process For masters or PhD? PhD oh, na, PhD because, na. A PhD na, as mm-hmm. so a PhD. Kaya basin so, maug, ka, maugmaanta kung gikan pag master. <laughs> a PhD na. Di mong mga kaagi. Kaagi, okay. So, I think, uh, ang akong ginabuhat git before, I think one tip is, ano yun, reach out to supervisors. Like, supervisor is the key git siya. Like, Once na kay mga professors or any PIs na yaka interest ka, like reach out to them, send an email to them. I think the reason that yaka hinder sa to a Filipinos is that ato mo kung college ta or way back before, like medyo mahadlok ta mag email sa to professors, right? But when it comes to grad school, pabagay siya ngawong, like. Mm-mm. Kailangan ka mag, uh, mag-email sa ila if there's like availability sa like any lab positions or night times nga na ay mga advertisement. So, on my case, I found out about this position kay advertise siya sa Nature Careers, I think. So, I mean, I can share to you like kung saan mga links na pwede niyo ma-search para if you want to really do grad school, kay pwede na ka mag-search lang niyo like more siya. Like search engine lang bitaw na itay mo near science or engineering whatever. Kaya mo mo gawas yung mga scholarships available or whatever. So usually mo taon di buhat before like may mga search engine so nagcheck na uh, na ako na kita nga na position or advertisement sa Nature Career that time. So what I did is I send an email to them 
And usually, i-prepare judni mo ang imuhang cover letter, of course, and your CV. So... Dohara, uh, dohara? Uh, and T-O-R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Grades, grades. So, ang grades na i ask sa HOA is during my master's and even during my undergrad. Mm-hmm. Take note, so, guys, um, ha, sa mga viewers yeah. na to, ha, i-take note yun ninyo. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised that time na medyo na-appeal pa akong undergrad, but well, I just have to go to the process. So, yeah, I sent my T-O-R that time and I think in doing or making your CV or the cover letter, mura siya kuan. Oh my God. Mas ma-mention na po na ako si sir. <laughs> Guys, I mean, every one of us have been, or like, you know how to, uh, like, maghimo of social networking sites, right? Like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So, in doing so, like, kailangan ka mag-curate sa imong profile. And, mura na po rin siya, ka ng, mura siya social networking site, mura na po siya dating app. So, di ko magpadungog na, di ko magpadungog doon sa akong isang friend nga hili ka yung mag-swipe swipe before ang iyong pangalan kay Kerem ang mga hili kong Tinder nila so technically mura na po siya dating app like kung gusto ka nga na maibog sa imuha or gusto ka na yung mag-swipe right sa imuha kailangan yung mga maghatag o maayong profile like sell yourself ay nga na bitaw so what you need to do is really to like, kailangan ka mag, kailangan yung ibalik ka imong mga kuan nga, yung mga achievements, yung mga nabuhat, publications, affiliations, related sa imong degree, like, mo nang siyang mga must, like, kailangan ka mag, mag curate, then mag, mura ko ka, mura ko siya dating, swa, uh, dating app na mag Tinder nga, mag swipe right, swipe right, naka permit kay, technically, mag send mga og letters to different professors, to, kuan po, uh, to widen your, ano, like chance. Connections. Or, um, oh, connections. Mga yung nga, na chances. Kaya, the more professors, the more chances of winning that kind of scholarship. Di ba? Di maka pwede nga, ala, kanina lang akong send an og um, CV or uh, cover letter. Di ba? I mean, you also need to reach out to different professors. So, that's what you have to do. And, mind you guys, I've done a lot, I've had a lot of rejections. But, when something comes, I like, during that time, even rejections, like, don't take it seriously. Like, don't give too hard to yourself because technically, it will give you, like, to the right path, Bitao. Okay, like, you will really find a good professor, like, a good place for you. Like, maybe it's God's blessing for you na gira ka mapadulong, right? Because, like, like, the God is really giving you the perfect fit for that kind of position para sa mo. So, technically, moto siya ang like process lang yun, like cover letter and uh, CV and TOR, yeah. And there are like a lot of cover letters online na pwede ka mag-search. Of course, don't copy-paste. Dapat mag-gigan dito sa yung heart na si mo kaagi when you were in the Philippines. Like, like ang nakayos mong good kay, they would be attracted to it. These professors will be really attracted because they wanted to have a diverse community na they wanted the Filipino in their team because like dili biya kayo dungo like a Filipino scientist right so they would be really surprised oh there's a Filipino here like what he or she could offer so of course ka performance level mo kay ka nga oh ingani ang mga ingani ang mga deliver ingana like smile smile na mo ka balag bulak yung mga sab ano sa ay but yeah the whole smile yeah the whole smile ingani mo ginasa ang process bitaw like you just have to go with the flow I think that's it. <laughs> asa ka nag asa na, asa ka nag apply like nag send ka og uh, application while na ka sa Korea. While I was yeah, while pa graduate uh, graduate na pa graduate na ko. Okay, para at least na idea ang mga na yeah. na i runway ang ano, na i runway yeah, ang mga planning to uh, pursue PhD. Like applying to grad school, it's not really like kanang pass-pass within a one month or one week mm-hmm. lang. It would take maybe six months to one year. Mm. Like, nagay times na next cycle na kung ka mag-apply, kay wala ka na dawat or whatever, but that's fine. Kay, maabot lagi na ang, oh, patience, maabot lagi na ang, ano, right time for you, right position for you. 
Nice. And you know what? Nagatalk me with uh, we because alam na kami group chat with our VN friends, our crow friends. Hi guys. Hi. Shout out to crow. Ang gusto niya shout out. Ang gusto shout out. Ang gusto niya group chat with Ed. Really, God has been blessing RV all along talaga because he like based on his stories, he met the right professor because of his yeah. perseverance and his patience in yes applying. So yun talaga. If you really yeah, want to have the same. Yeah, that's really true. Because honestly, during I don't know if I, do I need to speak about the process of that or did I? Ah, go 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 go. Yeah, go. Like, because they like, will. I mean, all oh, out, oh, oh. I mean, once na once they will respond to you, kay dapat na rin ka mo agi o series of interviews. Like I've had five or four, maybe four to five interviews. So. Uh, the reason na uh, I know that my professor was really right for me is that she was really okay for me to meet the other lab members and even the past members. So that's another tip. Like, don't be shy to reach out to those past members and even new lab members because you can ask them questions about how he or she is really doing in the lab, like kung saan um, at attitude sa ibang professor. So that's really good because in other labs like they don't really you don't really get the chance to meet other team members which is really like like wala ka ba lusa real attitude right like asa mo ka mangita mm-hmm. o information about him like the, the thing is that these it's really flashy because in social media or even in google once you search them like they've had this kind of achievements they're really good in their career but then again once you're in that position, mm-hmm. like under na kasaya, magisut ka kaya tungod. He, his or her attitude was really different. So that's really good. Na you can ask, you know, the, the lab members actually. So I've had that kind of interview with them, and then it was just chill. Siguro ang very technical lang ng interview sa kawawas with the director of the center of the neuroscience, and also with the government. Cause I've uh, my scholarship is actually under the government of Australia which is they, they were asking questions like technical questions also about my field like how could you you know sang ma kasi mong mahata kasi mong contribution and ano nangutan na nagunaw na ko sa kung self data na kung sa contribution like ay nade ni kwarta na ihata gid kisud mang kaayo contribution na mo na mong ipanghata ang contribution dai kung sa mong contribute to the body of science of knowledge ay abo ko kwarta kwarta na ni kung kita ang mga pinuno na ni kwarta na kaayo no na contribution na the last scholars na ni masaeso ubrik kaayo ta ano to lisip kaayo Anyway, like <laughs> <laughs> as in amazing, amazing, amazing. So ihat ihat tag na kilonggo, no? <laughs> so ibibigay ni ni Kuya RV yung link or kung he allow na as pag nagpost natin or re- re- recap ng ating podcast, i share natin yung link as what Sir John also shared last time na niligay namin dun yung link kung saan na niya nakuha yung kanyang scholarship. Now, now before we go through with our official question, ayan, ang ating pang finals na mga question, last, ayan, as a sort of introduction man nighapon. So what's your actual work? Ayan, so what is your actual work now? Ah, oh, okay. So, my work is actually looking at the, the behavioral and brain mechanisms of compulsive disorder and dementia. So, in compulsive disorder, is we're focusing on OCD and substance use disorder. Because technically, people have substance use disorder, they do compulsion actions, compulsive actions, like towards alcohol or any drugs. And then linking this to dementia, like actually like broad drakay and dementia but more on alzheimer's disease like we believe that people who have substance use disorder or even ocd will have dementia in the near future so what we do is looking at the neuroinflammation so i'm actually focusing on the cells called microglia and astrocytes so if sa tong body natin mga immune system nata immune defense these microglia and astrocytes these are also immune defense sa atong brain. Once we have brain insult, once we have injury in the brain, whatever, whatever is that, these microglia 
and astrocytes. Kung sila ang mga primary defense yun, dapat ako sila, hello, gana ko dire. So, mula ba na ko, whatever, kung sila mga kadira. So, sila ang mga first defense yun sa imuha. So, ang mahitabo is, what we do is, we induce, like, into the brain, like, we do a lot of surgeries, and we do a lot of brain manipulation. So, maybe you've heard about chemogenetics and optogenetics. So, with chemogenetics, it's actually... Uh, you ch- uh, you inject a virus into the brain, and then na ay ma express. For example, it's either ang astrocytes or macrogulia. Like focus lang yun sila ato nga mga kind of cells. Like uh, specifically sila ato ng mga cells ang yung i either i activate or i inactivate. Uh, when it comes to optogenetics, we use fiber optics. So when we shine a light. Like once it turn on ni mo ang ang like mag press, wala mo siya ka ng switch bitaw. Mm. Like once it press ni mo ang turn on and off, kay mag create siya og another behavior. Kay activate man niya ang ang neurons or those kind of cells through shining of the light. So magamit mo siya. And then after those things, kay we do a lot of immunohistochemistry to check the cells. Like kung unsa ang behavior or activation sa brains like microscopy actually like i think also darlene's lab is also looking at that like sa microscopy so yeah i think that's it pretty much and also we aside from the cells we also check with unsa ang gakahitabo po sa synapse whether na by synapse loss because we believe na in alzheimer's kay na mga synapses loss like Mga so mga wala compare sa normals. So like currently, ako ni nabuhat is normal rats lang din siya. Like oh, by the way, sa tanan kaya mas makabatabing nila you. I'm working on humans, so I'm actually working on rats specifically. And then after my establish na mo ang behavior regarding this, if nganong magka cognitive deficits ang mga kaning mga ilaga, kato na dami mag proceed the dain sa mga transgenic mice. So we use a lot of transgenic mice na linked to Alzheimer's na dayo. So nice. Nice. Yes, Murag, so yeah. <laughs> Murag kong nireviews ako ang publication. <laughs> Grabe, Murag kong nireview <laughs> ang akong publication niya. Wala jud ko kay Baong nga napublish na di ay. <laughs> So, samo kay good, samo kayo akong professor no kay 6 months ago pa di ito na publish nga murag same good sa imo hangi ano same good sa imo hangi pang mention so it's about autophagy and i don't know kung sana siya <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> i don't know kung kay darling kung naka-relate siya i mean for sure relate good siya kay <laughs> gamay <laughs> <laughs> Basis job, but it's behavior job, but we're yeah. really into cognitive deficits, like more into executive functions, like decision making and learning and memory. Those are the main na amun gina target it. And we're looking at three different brain areas, like in PFC, but not really like the whole PFC. So we're looking at orbitofrontal cortex. Next is uh, dorsal medial stratum mm-hmm. and hippocampus, and then we're doing like circuitry in this brain regions, like projections, whatever things like that. So yeah, pretty much different than sa akong masters, <laughs> yeah. but it's still I mean, I'm still fascinated with behavior because honestly, ang ang gaka ang gaka ang gaka change mga terms publications kay they're really into looking into like molecular na gid bitaw mm-hmm. but we believe na uh, behavior is still fundamental and it's still really important if you wanted to look at this kind of diseases or disorders mm-hmm. like kung wala ang behavior like i don't think like dako kayo ang establish oh oh maka establish ka sa imong sa imong batang uh, aim or what ipa sa both the same research i mean i don't don't get me wrong Amazing to Japan on molecular, like I do molecular stuff, but I feel like combination of this yes, yes. have a bigger impact. Greater impact, yeah. Yeah, so do ba? Nice, no? <laughs> nice ka yun, as like, in. Plus practical application. So. Agree. Yeah. Ko gay gay enjoy ra ganito sa review article. Ah, ay ha, ansa pa ka nang nag nag-experiment, experiment na good no. 
nag-enjoy na lang noon sa ano, article review. Anyways. Yeah, it's really good to do ano, experimental work. Kaya dira jud ka maka-learn. Learn true. Ay, lahi manggod ang ano, lahi ang lahi ra jud kaytong magbasa ng bitaw ka all throughout compare sa mga apply nimo in like in person like live. Mm-hmm. Ang buot nimo, ah, ingani din gibuhat sa research, ingani din yang pasabot, right? Cuz there are times na okay, you get it, but wala din mo siya na experience. So, mas para remember man good nimo ang process o ang concept once you've done it. And I think that's a good idea. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Yan. So, moving on sa question, da ready na ba ang aton nya mga question gyud yeah. nga sure na gyud nga kaayo ang question? <laughs> nga legit na kaayo nga question. <laughs> We will have three, right? And yes, three. yeah. And three. you can choose. This time, you have the chance to choose. Yeah. Three questions lang. Pwede okay. naman ang nine questions lang yata. Agra! Overnight na lang ta, guys. Kaya nag-request, actually. Okay lang ba na until 12 daw si RV? Ano sa'yo oras dira? Ano sa'yo oras dira sa Australia? Ano sa'yo oras dira? It's 11-12. In the And evening. Plus two lang sa Pilipinas, plus one sa Korea. Ah, okay. But it will change pag mag-summer na po. So plus three na po, may like crazy time zone. Uh, mm, so this, time, this time it's winter, right? It's yeah, it's winter. winter here in Australia. Oh my God. With the degree. different world. Nice. We were talking a while ago and the temperature is around one degree. I think it was just only nine. Nine. Oh, nine. Mm. Mm. Not really, guys. Pa end na po winter. I think next month. Pan na po siya. Spring. Spring. Okay. Nice. Okay, so it's time for our questions. We can choose a number. Choose a number. Oh, choose yeah. a number. <laughs> One to nine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with eight. Eight. Open the box, Charmel. That's a good question. Ikaw Arv. Ah, ikaw Arv. Di no one na. Ikaw na. That's a good question. Agad, agad. Okay, question number eight. What is the question? Number eight. What would you consider as advantages and disadvantages of being a graduate student abroad? So what are the advantages and the disadvantages? So let's start with the advantages of being a graduate student. Okay, I think I would say the advantages of being a graduate student here like overseas actually is you are able to interact with amazing research scientists like all over the world like they've had their trainings in the US Europe or wherever they are and they're more advanced when it comes to this kind of research so i think the inputs that they will give you will have like greater impact bitaw like dahil kasi lag ma hatag ng mga inputs sa imo i mean There are amazing scientists in the Philippines for sure, but this one, like lahi ragit di lang training. Also, the technology that they have, like they always have this cutting edge research, yeah. and then the availability of the the equipment, like the kind of technology, for example, like if we say CRISPR, yeah. right, or if we say optogenetics, these are available in those wealthy countries, but. Not really in the Philippines. So technically, you are more advanced with the technology that you were, you are using. So I think those are uh, advantages. Also, and another advantage would be, uh, while I bureaucracy, like the moment now you wanted this kind of antibodies or chemicals or whatever, it's really fast. Like the next day or two days from now, like you will have it in the Philippines. No, it would take months and months. So I think that's the good uh, another advantage. And I think also the nice thing, like being a graduate student overseas, is that you are able to travel, mm-hmm. like to some conferences. I feel like in even in South Korea, like in my previous lab, you could you could be able to travel to Europe, to the U.S. or even other countries. So I think those are, for me, the advantages. Of being a graduate student here in, like overseas, this advantage, like what I've said, like 
grabi ang bureaucracy sa Philippines. Like when you have to order a thing, like balag gamay lang kay nash, it would take years or ages. I think that's the reason why it hinders the progress of the research in the Philippines. So if we could change that one in the Philippines, I think grabi na git. I mean, I believe in Filipino talents. Like I would always. Like tell my friends, my peers here, like Filipinos are really amazing. Like when it comes to research, like we're really hardworking. Like don't get me wrong. Like Filipinos are really good at this kind of, of kind. Uh, like, kung siya magbuhat sila ha, magyes na sila. Buhaton kita nila. Ingat lang mga Filipinos. But like, maglisod ka sa Pilipinas mangod kay ang anag yun kanang support, support like funding from the government like. I think it's also one of the issues, right? Like in the Philippines, like pretty, pretty much, like you know, like one of the senators in the Philippines, mm-hmm. like puro kayo na research na research, mayan at like technically this research would improve the economy of your country, like it would have a bigger impact not just like to the people na related to medical field, but also in a wider range, like the economic impact. Mayan at bitaw, like look at those wealthy countries, like because of research, they're really advanced. Like awa, because of this COVID, like late na kaya tanagi mo ang like center of virology. I don't know kung sila tawag sa centers sa Philippines, di ba? Like ayat na tama tukod sa Philippines ang something center. Once na ita mo na, look at the other countries. But also, we also have to consider that funding is also mo na siya ang nakalisod di ba sa Pilipinas na kwan. Pero I think ang nakanais tanagi sa Philippines is that. You're able to see your family and friends back home. Okay, you know, PhD is an isolating experience. That's the reason why you really need to have like to find your tribe, have a support system, find your happy circle. That's the reason why what while I was in Korea, like I have people like my friends, like we call them bro, like our group. Because even though we're not busy, like magkita kita ay ni kay, we know the feeling of being abroad. Like away from home, ingat nak kita tahu. So, apa mana mengenal yang bisa advantage ya Philippines? Satu uh, rumah buruk. Hahaha. Karena ada langsung. Karena si Dora tidak sih I don't know. Uh, Or mostly kata lang dia like takes ages, funding, or ingat nak kita. Or so like even going to conferences, ang problema sa Filipinas kita kelangan ikal mengbayar first, like yeah. reimburse lang. And then reimbursement to it takes ages also, di ba? Like isun kaya din. Oh, another thing. Oh my God. Even allowance, ang allowance maabot months, which is it would have a greater impact also to the researchers because they cannot really work. Like ikaw kung wala kay makaon, wala kay maprovide sa imo hang self, kaya wala pa yung allowance, di ba? I mean, you don't have that motivation to do research, kaya dahil ka guna-guna o like asa mo ko maka asa mo ko pamilite asa ko pang kaon so may ano ang factors which hinders the progress of the research in the Philippines so yeah True. that's the reality see that's so imagine um, sa mga watcher sa mga viewers nato you know nga uh, like bakakala nyo Uh, apps lang lahat ang experiences. Ayan. Puro happy moments and travel lang ang advantages in pr- pursuing uh, advanced studies abroad, international. But there are also, we need to consider a lot of um, disadvantages. And that is also turning back your family. Actually, especially now. Diba? Like, doing uh, a quality time, medyo nagpo-focus na tayo sa... I mean, ating advancement career, but also we are we are turning our back to our families. But yes, you need to have a lot of courage as well. And kung mas marami din namang advantages for you ang pagpursu, then why not? But if you think na ang daming factor of controlling you or pulling you back na mag magcontinue ng studies, then it's still on your own ano decision and choices still kasi may 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 I also have a friend na naandiyan ka na eh nasa abroad ka na eh bakit hindi ka pa nag-continue ng ng PhD na andiyan na yung opportunity so may mga sinasabi siya sa akin mga factors why he needs to go back to the Philippines and 
Ah, uh-huh. mayroon din palang mga ganyang point of view pa rin tayo. Mayroon pa rin palang mga ganyang aspects na akala mo go lang ng go abroad. Yan. Yeah. Always go. Yeah. <laughs> Ayan, ready na? Ayan. I hope na, na nakuha. Ayan. I hope nga nakuha sa atong mga viewers ang ang lesson of advantages and disadvantages of pursuing. Ayan. <laughs> yes, na agyud ang travel actually. Kung kung ang last ang last week bitaw no na mga guest, grabe ka ayo daghan kayo sa giadtuan. Og every day, every hour, lahi-lahi kayo ng mga places. For sure baka nga naga master ka dira sa sa Sweden. Yeah, sure ba? I, I really miss like in-person conferences cuz supposed to this year I was supposed to fly this uh, in Mexico and in the US in this coming November. Like ang Mexico kay na human na siya tong June. But then because of the border closure, like very strict hmm. border closure here in Australia, like I only have to present online, which really sucks, because, you know, this kind of opportunity is dying bit now. I mean, in Mexico, last time presenting my research, and then this coming November for the society, like SFN conference, oh, and that that is in, in the US, but then yeah. because of this. <laughs> sayang, no, thing, uh, sayang, no. Bis kan ganit si Darlene, uh, nag share po siya sa iyahang anang mga. Strong daghan na kay daw siya unta nga na ano ha na tuan pero anyways yeah. malay na to I mean, that's, that's diba? hopefully I mean let's hope that by next year yeah. mahop na kita siya that's the reason why people should get vaccinated yeah. I think that's I, I know think that's, la- that's the only key for us to you know para mawala na yun normalize thing I mean, normalize something because technically COVID will be there mm-hmm. like here in Australia like we already made a statement that they will treat covid as flu already na mm-hmm. uh, exist na gid siya and then they will not count the positive cases every day as long as you have like 80 90% of the population na na vaccinate i think that helps because the severity of you being hospit like going to the hospital or having severe illnesses mawala siya once you have the vaccination right so mm-hmm. it helps good. so people he- there in the philippines Aside from mag face mask, social distancing, of course, get your shot, my child. Like if you have the ano, tanang nakai ano, atong ano chance na yun na makuha. Yeah, ug okay. free pa, free pag yun siya. It's free. It's yes, still free. free. True. Actually, happy kay ko kay nakadawat ko email from our school nga gi oblige dili man gi oblige pero gi gi encourage na gud nila tanan yung mga student international uh, I mean mga students sa school nga ma vaccinated. So they are expediting the the ano na the vaccine and hopefully magtaas-taas na ang percentage ninyo dira dar para mag-open na sila ang border yes. kay grabe na kay ko ganahan na kay ko. <laughs> so nagid kay ko mga adto dira as in ako ang friend kay murag flight na niya sa August 24 going to Korea na mas nauna pa siya sa ako ah <laughs> under siya sa government. Oh, under siya sa government. Iyon ko nga sige ako mo hatod nimo ha basin na basin na ay lucky charm nga ako mo hatod sa airport basin the next ka ako na. Char. <laughs> Hopefully. I've been mean, I mean, talking about scholarship also. I mean, I, I would add up for that cuz oh. I mean, just for the sake of everyone, like ang scholarship it's not just dili lang ka ang government ang magato scholarship. Same somewhat before, like in my previous uh, lab, like in South Korea, like we had funding. So basically, ang pwede ni mo ang scholarship, if dili ka madawat ka sa government scholarship, you can always go to university scholarship. Once na wala ka university scholarship, pwede ka mo ato sa yung lab na scholarship, like funding from your professor. So, daghan ng ways na pwede ka makadawat ng scholarship. So, Don't let your hopes down. Kung di ka madawat sa government scholarship, kaya technically, pwede siya mong ka maka wow, fully funded na scholarship in other ways. Like, pwede ka mag-ask if na funding ang professor or even ang university makatag o funding sa mo. So, yeah. True, Nine kaya ako. Ka- yeah, true good so, na siya. So, di na-enter ang connection. True. Ay, yeah. Oh, I... na experience gina na ako. Speaking of connection, da. Ayan. <laughs> Na-experience gina na ako kaya without... Without kuya Edson, na wala jud ko aning scholarship from the university. Char. Woo! 
<laughs> like even me, like even me, like before kung nagkatuna pa ako sa Philippines, kung nagwork ko as a chemical engineer that time, like before kung nagfly pa dalong Korea, kaya it was also because of my friend who was in Korea. So shout out to Z, I will always forever grateful sa imong dipang share na mga love position sa Korea. So yeah, and then I was able to meet these wonderful people in South Korea. Kaya kung wala ko yung connections sa Korea that time, like I wouldn't be here. Yeah, the yeah. stepping stone. Yeah, so when he helped me going to Korea, I also helped him. Nga kay na naman siya uh, Germany karon. So Germany. I also helped him like apply in Germany and things like that. So yeah. Like I like give and take gyud pud ato. Nice. So I think this is the best time to ask this question. Or is it? What? what? From chemical uh, later, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ay, na ako yano. Na ano, okay. ako share sa nga ano nga. Before tama proceed sa second. Ay sige, mag second question ta. Then after nato second question, okay. mag commercial break ta. Char commercial break ta kay i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i Ah, uh, second question okay. sa ta before mag before ta mag proceed sa second uh, I mean sa last question og kanang for those nga curious kayo nga from chemical engineer turned near scientist I had ta mag ano mag proceed sa ta. So, question, question, pili og number. Um <laughs> uh, two. Okay, number two. Actually, lahi may og view, lahi may og question template ni. Kipa kita na ako asa no to number eight, murag lahi lima ako number eight pero go lang. <laughs> okay, wala <laughs> mina ganon. Hindi nila ano nagsinchronize. Oh lagi <laughs> sakdi ay question number two nagipili ni mo. So the benefit in terms of the academic career or leisure or financial status. So what is the benefit of pursuing PhD in terms of academic and in terms of uh, maybe career so murag what's next after so unsa pa benefit ana like after you push with phd mag mag ano pa ba ka mag another studies pa ka or what's next mag mag di na ka sa college na uh, ako pa yung i <laughs> <laughs> Isot ko siya i-answer honestly because uh, what's about? Because I really wanted to do postdoctoral like being a postdoc fellow like try another lab like siguro ba ito mo ga ga lab hopping ani like hopping came ako sa Asia and then I went to Australia and then now akong aim is to go to Europe or even to the US ingan na bitaw so I feel like siguro ingan akong next path or career pero before that like i just want to master my expertise here in australia siguro like stay here for like two three four years it depends on how depende i mean wala takabalo sa mga hitabo right so wala na chance og minyo minyo wala na wala na wala na wala na daw siya Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, so benefit ana? Like unsa benefit? Kay uban no in terms of ano kay o sige na mugot tay I feel like I'm not sure ha pero I feel like this is a wrong connotation sa Philippines na hmm. once uh you have your PhD kay wala ni makuha ang company sa inyo but honestly like here sa Australia kay grabe lang preference sa PhD or hmm. even sa Europe kay you have this kind of knowledge you've been through a lot so you know how to adapt to the environment you know how to um, be a team player may nga ng mga factors so you you will learn these things throughout your PhD I'm, I'm not telling na hindi mo niya ma learn sa masters or even sa undergrad but from time to time mas malahi na yun yung mga experiences bitaw and mas mas strengthen na yun siya 
So I think the benefit is also like when it comes to uh, salary, I think must taas. But actually, kung matuwa industry, naka PhD, twice. <laughs> Even twice the salary. So, there are times that even ako mga friends like, mag industry na lang kaya tayo, like pharmaceutical companies or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's not really about the money for me. It's about my passion to really help people who have brain disorders. Without, like, I'm really passionate about those kind of things. So, I think that's the reason why I really wanted to stay in this kind of path. Siguro. That's in. Okay, actually, lagi yun siya, tsak to yun, imahang gimension ko yan noon, like, diri sa Pilipinas man good, kung naanak kay PhD, like, somehow, ang uban kay ma-overqualify. So, mag-i-overqualify yun ka nila. O, especially, ang kung PhD ka, academ, university, nga na, and limited pa kayo, limited pa kayo, kay, wala na ba diri mga research or laboratory, so... Ang uban, dili jud makasabot ko. So why why do you push through? Or ngano mag PhD jud ka abroad nga kung mabalik ang Pilipinas, wala jud or I mean nubo kayo ang chances. So as in kung kung ma-open up ra good nato sa uban nya tawo no, like ang PhD is not limited only in researches, not limited here in the Philippines. Daghan kayo yeah. pag opportunity abroad. Oh yeah, one bunch of opportunities kita. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Like at the end of the day, like I really wanted to go back to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Like I wanted to apply. I'm not sure. So to our viewers, maybe like they know about the like, scientist program. Like I really wanted to do that one. But the thing is, lahi lang kita ang priority sa government for now. Because even neuroscience, we don't have any neuroscience degree in the Philippines. Yeah. Like that's a subject. Like sa mga medicine or sa mga molecular biology and biotech na mga mga courses. But dili gyud neuroscience without a degree, so it's just a subject. So I think I would bring my expertise and share it to the Filipino people and train them. I think that's the good way. Like even my professor here in Australia, like she was telling me, like I think it would be better for you to really have connections to other mm-hmm. people, because in this way, once you establish this kind of connections here in Australia or even in Europe or in in the US. Bring those connections, and then have a funding, and then bring that one to the Philippines and train Filipinos how to deal with research. I think that's the best way that you can do. Because honestly, it's not really selfish for you to stay abroad for a longer period. Because the research that you have been doing is giving like a bigger impact to the people. It's not just to the Filipino people, but it's for everyone, right? Another thing that you can share to all experiences or mga things, ma training mo ang Filipino people, and yeah, and ma flourish niyo ang neuroscience na degree sa Philippines. So yeah. Yeah. What if no? What like ten years from now? Kita gihapon ang team dres sa Pilipinas, char. Actually, last time we were t- uh, we were joking about it, di ba together? Yeah. Ah, kasi wala pang neuroscience na love sa Philippines and so we were talking ah uh, maybe one of us should go back to the Philippines and after one will uh, maka-establish ng love sa ano then we will all go back to the Philippines and exactly. start a love there you know, yeah. that was, like, we were that's talking the about why, like when I, I started my PhD like I really tried to widen my connections like um like I joined this group in Like Society for Philipp- uh, Pinoy Neuroscience Enthusiast, na mga Filipino siya naga study on neuroscience in different parts of the world. So I joined in that meeting. So mga ingana, and I, I've also established connections here in Australia, like sa mga Australian Asian Neuroscience Society and even the American Filipino Society. So naga attend ako mga meetings. Asin pabaga at yung mga nawong like knowing ha na. These grad school students are from the top universities in the Philippines, like from UP, from Ateneo. But there are also universities in Mindanao who are really, really good. Like MSU IIT is one of that. Like Ateneo de Davao is one of that. Like the country, my universities, uh, Mindanao, like even University of San Carlos, like S- Central Mindanao University, na maka offer the same research experiences sa ano sa mga top universities in the Philippines, but. Nalagit sa more funding, so hopefully 
nga na bitaw pabaga lagi tag tawo ingana kami tinaas ng baga dadto ikom nawong na makikalumilo sa ina habit ako with this pagad nawong i can yeah. have like, connect connections like, connect, connect to the world ends of the world so mga like parts of the brain diba true true <laughs> Ingon <laughs> dire si si Samantha Sevillino. Pangbalik scientist jud ka RV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the passion. Pero ang ang makita mo pangbalik ko magklase na ako sa Pilipinas kay mag comedy bar regular. Pangbalik ko magklase. Pero ang katawa lang mi, magingana lang day mi. Na, ingana na jud. And that's the that's the best way to learn. <laughs> true, 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 true. Kasi so, sa neuro lapod ko ba ya? As in, ako ang professor kay neuro lapod siya. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so if, before ta mag-proceed sa atin nga last question. Ug, sa kla- Ug, kanang kanang highlight, John. Yeah. I- i-play sa atin nato ang kaning video nga, unsa ni? Mga promotion ba ni? Tagay tagay sa mig ano introduction ani overview. ano overview kuya RV. Uh, it, it's just about what we're doing in the center. Ajo. Katro man di ay. Ano ba yung Kung sa ginagawat mo sa lab, makita ng minimum mo lab, kinsa mo director, like they they they. I think ga shoot sila ani last year pero wala lang ko. Even ako professor wala asa ko kay. Dami mi kipagbuhat. Kita mo kita ko kinsa lang available sa lab. Ngayon na. Ah. And that time kinako sa pics ako research na kay nako sa pics ako research na kailangan ako mag-perform whatever kay nako ginaapas na mga deadlines ngayon na. But anyway, just watch and learn sa video. Okay, we'll see. Ya.
Ayan. I guess it explains all the cocaine today lang inyong ano no. Ang inyong laboratory mura jud sag SNR diri. <laughs> mura sag SNR diri. <laughs> Dako kaayo. Sayang wala wala jud ka kaya atong last nga nga nga, nga ads bitaw no nga gisend ni Sir John kay na gyud sa didto gi, gi, gi interview gyud siya. Maka proud. Yeah. Char pero maka proud pud oy kay one of one of a kind siya nga uh, makita ka dito sa sa kanang the cook kay ang love. Anyways, so I think ready na ta sa atin nga last question before maghatag ta clarification sa 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 kaning uh, podcast. Why from chemical engineer you turned into uh, or what motivates you? Yeah. So ang last na nga question is da ready? Question number Five. Number five. five. Oh my God. Okay. I think this was also la- asked last time. So here, what motivates you to stay on the line? Or when to say this is not for me? Or should I re- explore other studies or research field? <laughs> Ay na, na, kana good. As in, I guess, I mean, pwede na nato siya i Yeah. Answer. Yeah. I think contest number two can I don't know. 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 I really like neuroscience research. Wait, wait, wait. Kanin lang, kanin na lang, kanin na lang. So, pwede na nimo siya i-bought up. Why, ano, why from chemical okay. engineer to okay. neuroscience, okay. then what okay. motivates you to yeah. stay on the line? Kana siya. And what, what to say na, this is not for me. So, this is na lang. Ah, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so I think the reason why I stayed on the line, because, I really like neuroscience research because disorders in the brain really affect almost everything else in the body. So the challenge of knowing more about the brain can really have such a big impact for the people. And also the thing is, I'm also driven the desire to reduce like mental health illness, whatever, or disorders. Because I feel like in the Philippines, like it's not really taken, taken seriously. And we know that these health mental health disorders are legitimate disorders with a physiological basis just like any other disorders just like any like alzheimer's dementia parkinson's disease huntington's disease all of that and it is just so exciting to discover things that no one else knows and it's crazy how little we know about the brain because aside from that we have much better understanding and it can help people with central nervous system disease or it's just so interesting how to figure out how it all works and like all of these researches that you have been done so that's the really nice thing about neuroscience i mean the reason why i shifted <laughs> like i started as a chemical engineer like i was also really driven and motivated about also doing things related to engineering that time because my research was really about energy turning plastics into waste because we already have that kind of problems not just in the philippines but anywhere in the world so we wanted to really turn these plastics into uh like this waste into energy like that, that they can generate energy but and i also had like a best thesis award during my college that time but i think the reason the next shift go is it started during my internship because my internship was in biopharmaceutical company and i was under the research and development department and i was um how to call that one i was dealing or formulating drugs for vet for veterinary and human consumption. So at that time, if chemical engineers can be in pharmaceutical industry, why not pursue a degree related to pharmaceuticals? Like 
neuropharmacology or neuroscience in general. Because the thing is, people like in the Philippines, they would always not really judge, but they have a different connotations about, oh, why did you change your career? Right? Like, why would you pursue a different career now? I mean, you were a great chemical engineer before, I and mean, then why shift it to a different one? The thing is, neuroscience is a multidisciplinary science that encompasses like anatomy, physiology, computer science, mathematical modeling. So it's just in one science. So that really interest like interest me because magamit na ako mga knowledge even before. Don't get me wrong. The knowledge that you've had, those kind of sets, it will prepare you in the near future. Like it will not be in vain. You will still use it. Like well, when I was a chemical engineer, I was also in the lab. Like I know how to make, like how to make chemicals, stuff like that. I also do that one when I was in neuroscience. So I've learned those kind of things. During my PhD, I've dealt with programming. That was my hatest subject when I was an engineer but then now I'm doing that kind of uh, that, that kind of thing I'm also doing mathematical modeling so it's not like wala siya nawala tong ako mga naglearn sa chemical engineering actually so now I feel like ang reason lang yun kay it's just so amazing how little we know about our brain and I just really wanted to dwell on that and yeah, like both degrees will have bigger impact, but it's just like I really wanted to do something in the medical field. And at the end of the day, doing a PhD is not something that you just want to have a degree. Doing a PhD is something that you're really passionate about doing something. Kay dili mangguro ka pa ba humon PhD or mga inga na kung naglaro laro lang ka or gabi ang lang ka kay you don't have that kind of motivation or passion to do this kind of research. Kay, listen to cha. So, yeah, that's why you also need to take care of your mental health. That's my one, like another tip, like life hacks, maybe it's a grad school, like take care of your mental health. Be surrounded with happy thoughts and happy people. Just like my friends in South Korea before, my friends here in Australia, even my family and friends in the Philippines, like technology has always been there. Like I can call them. So yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So mura validate ni mi po dang imano. Mura validate ni mo ang ang katong statement bitaw ni Sir John atong last time na when your passion align, it keeps you motivated. Good. Aha. Sure no. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ikan baya ka nga dili mura dili mura contradicting char. I mean a bit. I mean like how can a chemical engineer ma ko to neuroscience. Yeah. I mean dili sa ke like I wanted to also apply like chemical engineering na uh, master's program before but feel ako kay wala lang jud ko ingana ang motivation to do another like more studies about engineering. Like I'm still fascinated about engineering. Like it gives hope to humanity also, pero relatable lang yun kayo ang medical field. For yeah. Me. I feel like once na magingon ka sa isa ka tao nga, oh, I've been doing research about Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, like wala sila idea all about Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, but they know it, mm. right? So, dira makita rin mo ang connections with us, of people o sa imuha, na as a researcher, you will feed them with information. So, that's the reason why it could be contradicting also. The reason why I'm saying nga uh, ni align siya na akong passion because even during my masters and now ako mm. hindi pa dayon na yeah. I really wanted to do neuroscience na field because it's really what I'm passionate for. So, yeah, I mean ang statement ni John was yes and no. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Actually true good. So uh, very quick, very quick. So, paano ni mo siya or when ni mo mahibawaan nga, like, this is not really for me. Let's say, anong, unsa na nga year, pila na ka years ka di ay sa imang PhD, kuya? 
Saya tu, second year. Ah, uh, second year. So, pila pa kayo? Na pa yung a year before you uh, finish yeah. your PhD? Ah, uh, ang PhD naman kay three to four years. Ah, three to four years. So, mura downhill na ka, na, downhill na ka ba or uphill pag yapon? Ha? Downhill na ka, almost finish line na kasi mo hang PhD. Layo pa siya. Ah, layo pa siya. <laughs> Now, <laughs> since layo, layo pa siya, <laughs> naabay na naabay chance or naabay time nga mura gi-question nimo imong self nga am I really doing it right? Am I on the right track ba or oh, naka-experience ka? Like I've been trying a lot. Like siguro ang lisod niya case is that like with COVID, I cannot see my family, right? Kay Siguro they give me, like they motivates me, like they motivate me. I mean, sorry. Uh, ang akong parents kay grabi ilang pagwork. I think ang ano mong good is it's like life is just so hard, but you need to keep push forward. Like you need to work on it. Like grad school is really hard, but all you have is the perseverance. To pursue your dream, no matter how hard it is, as and that is all right, as long as you continue working on it. That's really, really good. Hinahinay pero kanunan. Ano ba talo sa bisaya? Yeah. True, 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 true. See, um, yes, um, it's really true. Nga na ju dili ju na siya mawala nga sometimes ang atong circumstances makalid sa ato a o thinking a. Napaka ata sa right track. Am I doing still good? Especially now, no? Nga, especially, siguro sa mga nag-PhD nga, unsa ba ka ha? Nag-good siya time nga. Maka-question jud ka sa imuahang achievement. Maka-question ka nga. I-continue pa ka na ako ni. Or kinsa pa ang mag-motivate sa ako. Okay. Usually, ang uban good. Na-pressure na sila nga. Na-pressure na sila sa ilang family. Nga nag continue na kag PhD so you need to finish everything what you have started kay naa naman na siya nag expect na nag assume na imahang family and friends daghan kaayo kag mga post or kanang na, na pressure na kaayo kag we need to ano na lang yun we need biskan lisod na kaayo tiwaso nag jud din ako <laughs> tiwaso na lang jud din ako ang uban ana kay mag mess up gyud di ba mm. Ya yeah, kasi kita magi times na mag kick in gid ang imposter syndrome gid ni mo nang nganong na ako ano nga program mm. like even ni like katong pag start na ko dire ka like I mean why I was able to get this kind of scholarship but then at the end of the day I would never have this kind of opportunity kung dili ko worthy so mo na ko gina feed sa akong mind like I've been feeding my mind with happy thoughts na yeah I mean dili ko maabot ani kung dili ko capable of doing so right and at the end of the day Like, na magi time sa mga pressure ta. Pero like, don't mind <laughs> ano mga negative negativities yun. Kaya you just have to really enjoy the process of doing a PhD. Cause PhD is never a straight line. Nagini mga curvature, mga palikuliko, mga so, up down hill, pak pak mga ingana, bitaw. Yeah. It's so dedication in. So, mo nang ako for me like uh, the main product of the PhD is always to ever your thesis it's always you because at the end of the day dagan tik ma learn like yeah. dili lang gid ang kanang knowledge sa ang research ko dinimo dagan tik ma change sa imo for the better mm-hmm. good as in it's an attitude dinimo yeah yes and how you see things it will really change amazing no grabe coming from the both of you as in maka ano gyud siya maka amaze gyud siya nga grabe ang 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 support system bitaw na sa family pod dako kayo siya nga impact nga It matters, honestly <laughs> sobra kay as, i mean gamay kaayo ta gabay kaayo ang family dito sa Philippines nga murag ma-support kaayo siya knowing nga naglisod na gyud kaayo ang family like like human na ka i mean human na ang ang sa rule bitaw dire sa Pilipinas kay Uh, mandatory good na nga patiwasan good ang parents yeah. like patapusin ka talaga ng ng college and yeah. beyond that if capable pa imong parents or imong family to send you sa med school law school or advanced studies then good for you opportunity good na siya but sa typical nga nga Filipino culture human ka human ka og study sa but sa imong college okay na you need to work kana siya ang notion good na to siya dere 
I'm I'm typical stereotype. That kind of culture also na they would always think na ang ilang anak kay investment bitaw na mm. once na mga na graduate kay you need to give back oh. and I'm just really really happy na ngang parents kay di pero tayong ganon. I mean, I send money to the Philippines but not really all the time. Pero kana ba tong ingan ng thinking kaya okay, sige ma luwi kang luwi ka ayo I abe mean, what if na ang kanang imong money kay gamiton niya sa lain things mm-hmm. may tabo kay kailangan niya mapadala para sa mga needs sa imong family mm-hmm. and i get that because i have those kind of friends also na kailangan jud magpadala og money to the philippines yeah og rare pud ba ya rare pud ka makakita sa driven good nga student like ang uban mamugus pag yun, no? Ang ilang mga parents, uy, tiwasa na good mo hang college. Tiwasa, mamugus good sila. Pero as in, rare ka ayaw ka makakita o ka ng student nga driven nga biskan mag-ingon na good ilang parents nga nak, wala na jud ko, wala na jud tayo, ano, wala na jud ko yung ipa-study sa imuha. Pero, kanabitaw nga, passionate ka ayaw ang, ang bata, ang student nga mag-continue pag hapon. As in, believe ka ayaw ko sa, sa student nga mag-continue o believe good ka ayaw ko nga biskan ang ilang parents mag-continue good sa ilang support biskan wala na sila financially I mean financially down na pud sila kay syempre human nag college pero yes sa mga sa mga family sa mga parents nga watching with us rare kayo ka makakita og driven nga, nga, nga bata mag mag-continue pa eh sa ilang studies especially karon nga need good kayo na to ang mga finances nga right after ni mo mag take of board exam you need to work na to earn money nan ang ang uban kay ang ilang end point kay working work kana na jud ang ilang end point so the moment you graduate the moment you ano the moment you uh, finish your boards and you you find a job let's say dira na jud ang ilang end point pero rare you good kayo Ex- Actually, kung naara good mate, honestly no, kung naara may siguro uh, finances lang yun nga to support studies. Actually, wala jud ko ano this time. Wala ko ron nag-take yun sa chances nga, mag, nga mag-master na lang. Actually, nag-study ko og law. Ayan, I'm actually on my second year, nasa law school. Pero lisod ka ayong, uh, sa akong case, lisod ka ayong kay wala ang finances. Wala na may work. Like, patay na si mama, may, wala na pod work si si papa. So maglisod ko nga mag-continue. Pero naajud ko yung passion nga mag, mag-study pag yud kay ko. O kana na lang mangita ko discarded. That's why it leads me to this point nga mag-continue na lang advanced studies nga nice scholarship sa Korea. So as Keep in ang ang sa mga younger generation, sa mga student dira at ano pa, dili jud mo I mean, thankful kay mo or magpa-thank you mo sa inyong parents nga makita jud nila imo ang nimo ang ilang support sa imo habiskan wala na jud sila yung finances hurot na kayo ilang investment like house and lot gipang gipang sangla na gipang baligya na ang tanan ang kabaw para lang naka maka ka sa eskwelahan go for it kay grabe amazing kayo na ang ilang parents anyways take aways nan na kay take aways <laughs> <laughs> nag boom sa light gra take oh yeah take take aways naka nang mga challenge pod sa mga viewers na to out there Or advice na lang advice viewers pwede po advice yeah take away oh my god advice take away and break <laughs> away i say uh, like never stop reaching for your goals and dreams in life like bear in mind that all the challenges that you face should not hinder to achieve your goals. So let life be a learning experience and don't let anything pull you away from your success. So when something did not come to your way, don't be too hard for yourself because sometimes the detours or delays can actually lead you to the right place. I think that would be the takeaway that I can share to everyone. And I thank you. Yay! <laughs> Amazing! Grabe, salot ka ko. Salot ka ayo good. Amazing ka ayo. Pero true ka ayo ba? As in, makarelate man good ta. Makarelate mi duhan ni, ni Darlin. Ag, I know for sure nga daghan pa kayo nga makarelate sa atan yung mga viewers out there. Nga, it's not the end for you. 
So, pandemic is not the end for you too. Ang akong application sa Korea, kasi, I mean, in the middle of lockdown, ECQ, from from processing all my TOR sa close nga, nga university, kaya syempre lockdown, pero I was able to send all my documents sa Korea. So, pandemic is not a hindrance, good. Sakto, good. Ang mga detours, ang mga delays, delay siya hindrance in in pursuing your dreams and your passion. Yeah! Nice ka yung ano, nice ka yung take away kuya RV. Og yeah. Ada? Yes. Parting words yes. or unsa pa ba? Or Oh, I mean, okay na mag-promote? Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. So so uh I will be giving a talk this coming August 28th. Ah, kana ba ta imong gi-post? Kato ba? Yes, I ah, posted okay. it on my timeline. So this is going to be in corpor- uh, cooperation with the Society for Pinoy near for Pinoy near science enthusiasts, and then these are near science graduate researchers, like in Japan, the U.S., in Europe, and also me here in Australia. So yeah, the link is there, and also you can join. And another one is uh, I'm also one of the grad map mentors. So we have two cycles per year and we have like one-on-one like you know mentoring experience like sharing of our like you know teach them like katong mga mentees na gusto mag-apply on how how to apply abroad mga ngana so if pwede niyo ma-share base but I think that closed ta so maybe the cycle will be next year <laughs> but anyway so yeah that's it yeah i-appeal na to nang ano i-appeal na to nang promotion right oh, after yeah. Right after this podcast, I'll be posting some of the takeaways from um, Kuya RV. Og, uh, i-appeal na to ang link sa katong pwede sila makapangita og, uh, applica- uh, for a scholarship. Plus, i-appeal na to ng uh, imong gipromote a while ago. Sure. Okay, Thank kakita po ko sa imohang ano. Kakita jud ko, Anna. Actually, ang akong friend kay Love... <laughs> My friend who took her, ano, her, her medicine sa dere sa UARM actually loves neuroscience. So the the time nga gipublish na ako akong papers sa uh, autophagy, she actually read it and loved it. So I don't know nga for sure kung mga, let's say mga inganing mga talks about neuroscience, she will really love to to have this. So I shared jud na na ako siya. Anyways, kuya RV mag Stay put sa kadar sa room kay mag mag parting ways. <laughs> We're not done yet. So mag i, i tago sa kadar sa room. <laughs> tago sa kadar sa room kay mo balik sa mini darling. Dira na ka ha? Okay. <laughs> oh yes, mga kaibigan, ayan, mga ka kakwentuhan. It's another fruitful night with Kuya RV, ayan, and Darlene and I know nga daghan kay tag na learn daghan kay tag mga take aways og i hope nga namay gi pang take notes nga mga tips og advices especially from the time nga nag-apply si Kuya RV sa ihang scholarship down sa kung unsa man ang ihang uh, status ron at the same time sa mga life hacks nga gipang share niya i hope nga daghan ta nga na learn i personally murag na na boost gyud ang ako hang motivation na boost gyud ang ako nga uh, energy nga yes I, abi nako nga ako lang ang naglisod sa ako ang program abi nako ako lang gyud ang pinaka uh, i mean dili man rare pero seldom lang maka encounter a different nga career pero how much more sa uban especially si iya nga from engineering down to na adjud siya specific nga, nga science which is complicated pag yun. Dili pag yun siya nga typical like sa eyes, nose, ears, ENT or specific sa heart. But very complicated pag yun nga, nga parts sa ato ang body which is ang brain o daghan kayo uh, terms, terminology is nga new for us. O especially this is not also well, I mean, neuroscience is not welcome for for us. Kay lisod siya o gamay. Yeah. Dili good siya common. Kay lisod siya nga subject, lisod siya nga program. But, kung naglisod gani, 
ang mga nurses, medtech, doctors nga mag-continue sa ilang neuro, how much more ang engineer nga from way back sa ilang foundation gyud no sa undergrad, wala gyud nimo siguro. Na yung mga sciences pero siguro maka I mean pila na lang pila lang siguro ka unit like ang earth science dili pa gani dili pa gani sa zoology botany i don't know kung naamo ana sa first year first time pero knowing uh, dig deeper ka sa neuroscience uh, salut ka yon da lagan kay ko na naingon na <laughs> kana man <laughs> <laughs> yun lang i think all of us have learned a lot from tonight's talk and yeah yun nga that If we really love what we do, we will have really that motivation to pursue, to go on. And yun yung sinab yung sinabi ni Arvina, like forever. Yung ato lang, we should build our connection. Yeah. Because those we don't know, like every day we meet people, and we should like show ourselves, bana. We should always be kind to the people around us because. You know, we don't know those people will be our connection from uh, someday. Na, hindi naman necessarily we should always look na at uh, this one. Para may goal ka ba na ito yung tao or uh, connection ko? Hindi naman yung like we should always have that. You know, friendly tayo sa lahat because I know RV as personally he is really a a friendly person. Like <gasps> flattered siya sa na zoom on. <laughs> flattered siya. Kaya na namin meeting. Actually, we really don't know each other in the Philippines. Back in the Philippines, we don't know each other. And I don't even we all, we became friends right after we we came here in Korea. Like he was a roommate of our friend Karen, but we really don't know them. And so the tapos si Karen siya sabi nila, Arby really wants to meet you. Kasi kami tayo ni Dida really wants to meet you. So our first meeting actually this this is really uh one great memory for for all of us. Sa Dongmyo, you know Dongmyo. Dongmyo is. And okay, okay, in South Korea. That's our first meeting and our first bonding time together. After that, we became we became like good friends, and it continues. So every month, like Arby said, support system then talaga for you to be able to survive grad school, you need to have support system from family and friends. And so when we were here, when he was here in Korea, we have really that monthly renewal of friendship. Sure. Month, because this can be seen because we are all Grand ka na sa monthly renew ay monthly. Uh, <laughs> monthly renewal. Kasi <laughs> Sunday sana all gonna renew no. Come to the love. Yeah, that's why we really set up miss nagse-set talaga kami ng time. Dapat once a month we would really go out and enjoy ourselves because we are not here just to study or we are also here to enjoy. It. Yeah. So that keeps us going. Be kind to animals but be more kind to human. <laughs> 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 you know, sakto to good, sakto good sa. Anyways, and of course, ang aton yung bottom line there is, ang aton gahapon like what I've said sa last na to nga podcast. Wait lang ha, nawala ko kay ang aton nga camera. Chadan. <laughs> Anyways, ang aton yung bottom line ng gahapon is our connection with our Savior, our uh, with Jesus. Of course, for those who are continuing or planning to continue their program especially in PhD if you are not really certain if you are not really sure if you are not really uh, you think that you are not physically mentally emotionally financially ready then maybe delays or wait for the right time to continue with your PhD naara man na dira ang PhD it will not run dili man siya mawala maybe ang pag skip nimo og a year or two years maybe that's the time nga gi prepare gyud ka sa sa more uh lisod more hard nga nga training which is ang PhD pero don't rush everything nan do, dili mo mag conform sa kung unsa ang gina feed sa ato sa atong social media dili ta mag conform sa kung unsa ang gina gina feed sa ato uh, sa atong mga university nga you should be like this like that in a years to, from now like three to four years from now you need to to earn your PhD yan so let's always yeah. wait for our perfect timing on our timetable ka I know for sure nga si kuya RV naghulat buod na siya sa iyang timing timetable yeah we have our own timeline 
pero it's still God's timeline ang masunod. Right. Yeah, and that's why we need to have our greater connection if we if we connect with people how much more we need to connect more sa aton nga Ginoo otherwise we will just end up i mean toyok toyok lang ta sa ato ang mga aton nga circles and wala jud tay ending wala tay end point wala tay finish line yeah and having said that thank you very much sa mga nakauba nato this evening Thank yeah. you very much for sa atong guest Kuya RV. I know nga busy or different ang aton nga na adjust time, time difference zone. and time zone yes, pero it's almost, it's almost one there. So Amot lang. Na sa na sa load unsa 1 12 Ay 12. Hour. Ah okay, og dira sa Korea kay 11 12 dire. Yeah, yes. 10 13 dire og so, nga tulog na ang mga tawo. So yung <laughs> Midnight talk. Yeah, midnight talk. <laughs> Nagnubo ka ng energy. Nagnubo ka ng energy. Pero, yes, still you can review this video sa ako ang YouTube channel. Pwede nyo siyang i-visit if you want to rewatch ang ang previous nga episode at the same time this episode. And also, i-invite na ako kamo for next episode na to. Maybe... Actually, I'm I'm hoping and I'm rooting na makabalik tag Korea, pero na ni available man ang Australia. I don't know kung ma-available ang Japan next week. Kay nag-ingon to siya nga this week daw kuno kay long long weekend daw. So wala pa siya wala gyud siya nagpa-storbo. Kay RV, basin pwede mo siya i-message kung okay na siya i-interview. <laughs> Close mo. <laughs> Close mo. Kasi <laughs> naulaw ko as in naulaw pud siya. So nag-ulawan na <laughs> Anyways, I would like to invite everyone if you want to learn more about the ISCO and ISCA abroad, their experiences, particularly sa engineering, neuroscience, drug addiction, uh, drug and social behavior, life sciences, chemistry, and all. Yes, stay tuned lang sa ato ang podcast. Next week, we'll have our episode 3. It's either Japan or Korea. Yes, and we offers you a lot more testimonies. We a lot, a lot more experiences, a first-hand experiences from our isko and iska abroad. So delete jud nimo sa delete ninyo mabasahan ni sa books. You will not take it from Wattpad nor mga mga life stories, but first-hand jud nisa ninyo madunggan. When it's when we say first-hand kay sila gyud ang naka-experience ani and it is our privilege to hear coming from them so, so thankful sa atong mga guests because they gave us this opportunity and they gave us their precious time to share to us their experiences as well yes so we'll be posting some links uh, right after this podcast and if ever you want uh, na may questions pa or clarifications sa atong talks tonight you comment lang or you can drop a message directly to me or if okay lang kay Sir RV you can directly kung close mo <laughs> o kung na time si Kuya RV maybe he is kind enough to answer those inquiries and questions if not Naaraman midiri, you can ask a question o kami na lang <laughs> kami na lang magsinamo kay Kuya RV sa mga questions. <laughs> Anyways, good night everyone and for those uh, mga friends na ko out there, a uh, happy preparation day for tomorrow. It's another week to, about to end and it's another week that is about to yes, to end and another weekend to start. So start recharging, start also pampering yourselves. Dili pud deprive ang inyo hang inyo ang time, dili pud deprive ang inyo hang self sa studies and work. So you need to have a me time too. And praise God for giving us also a Sabbath day of rest. Nga maka rest yud ta physically, emotionally and spiritually. Having said that, that thank you also for your time. Thank you, Pod, for being with me all throughout this Ask and Question podcast. That last words. Okay, so again, we thank our guests for being here with us, for giving us the time, even though midnight at to sa iya karon. Nagilonggo na ba? But then okay. we are really happy that he is here with us, and we were able to 
to hear his experiences. Also, thank you so ever supportive pro friends who stayed with us until this late night. This is Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I would li- I really like to mention that because they told me to really <laughs> to, to Sam, to Karen, to Chili, to Val, to Didai. Hello, guys. At Joycey. Hello, guys. Thank you for watching. And yes. Yeah. Yes, also support their YouTube channel, Salt Grace Ministries. Yan, they have an angelic voice na if if sa mga nagastadies or love of mga music, you can try their music too. Anyways, good evening and good night everyone. Thank you for being with us once again tonight. And this is Mcdill Valencia of the Asked and Question podcast. And this is Darlene May Ortiz. Yeah, good night everyone. Yeah, good night, Dab.